This video is brought to you by Altium. Recently I got this 5.8 GHz AIO all-in-one 800 TVL CMOS Mini FPV Wireless HD Camera and I also purchased this 5.8 GHz OTG on-the-go receiver for my Android phone. I purchased this combo for my racing drone. Actually, I am planning to convert this racing drone into an FPV racing drone but you can also use this with robots, RC cars, RC planes and even you can use this as wireless security camera. This video is going to be very informative as I will share with you the technical specifications, features and different ways to power up this mini FPV wireless HD camera. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchased links are given in the description. Let's first start with the camera unboxing and see what we have got inside this box. We have this user manual. These are the camera specs and on the other side the camera features are printed. We have this connector which is used to power up the camera and this 5.8 GHz all-in-one 800 TVL CMOS mini FPV wireless HD camera. This is called AIO or all-in-one because the camera, video transmitter and antenna are integrated. It's 800 TVL. TVL stands for television lines. TVL is the number of vertical lines a camera can record. 800 TVL means there are 400 dark and 400 light alternating lines. So I think 800 TVL is not bad at all for such a low price. Audio carrier is 6.5 MHz. Output power is 25 milliwatt and the operating current is 100 milliamps. The operating voltage is 3.6 to 5.5 volts. The minimum voltage is 3 volts and the maximum voltage is 5.5 volts. With such a wide voltage input range, we can power up this FPV camera using one is LiPo battery, one is lithium ion battery. It can be directly connected with different flight controllers without the need of any voltage regulator circuit. It can be powered up using the 7805 voltage regulator etc. We will practically do it once I cover the technical specs and features. This FPV camera is ultra light and weighs around 8 grams with a metal case. This FPV camera is capable of real time image or HD video transmission within 500 to 700 meters in open air. It has got 150 degree FOV or field of view and 170 degree DFOV or dual field of view. This camera supports both the video formats NTSC and PAL which are switchable and for this we have this small button on the right bottom side. This button has multiple functions. If you press this button for more than 3 seconds this will change the NTSC or PAL system. When the blue LED is on it means NTSC and when the blue LED is off it means PAL is selected. If you want to change the bands A, B, E, F, R then you will have to press this button for more than 1.5 seconds. Finally if you want to change the channels then you will have to press this button for 1 second or less. You will practically see this in a minute. The frequency band and channel table you can also find on the box and it's also available in the manual. In this box we have these two USB cables, an antenna and the SkyDrive 5.8 GHz OTG receiver. OTG stands for on the go. 
This OTG FPV receiver works with all 5.8 GHz wireless FPV cameras. It also supports AV output and audio output. It has got 150 channels and there is no need of an external power supply. It simply uses the mobile phone power supply. You can connect this OTG receiver with any smartphone using these USB cables. For the live video streaming and recording you will need to download the Go FPV app. So let's go ahead download the app and then we will practically start testing everything. Let's open the Go FPV app. You will get this error message when the OTG receiver is not connected with the phone. So our app is installed and now let's power up this mini FPV wireless camera using different power sources. But first a few words about the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. Since this FPV camera accepts a wide range of input voltages from 3 volts to 5.5 volts, this means we can use different power sources and this is what we are going to do right now. Let's first start with a 3.7 volt 1 S battery. This is the typical voltage for this FPV camera. For the easy connections, I soldered these male headers. Next, Connect the red wire of the camera with the positive side of the battery and connect the black wire with the ground side of the battery. When the camera is turned on you will see these small red color LEDs. Pins are on the right side and the channels are on the left side. Next I am going to connect my OTG receiver with the cell phone. It will automatically open the Go FPV app. If not you can manually do it. You can see it's working. You can use a lithium ion battery to power up this mini FPV camera. Now let's go ahead and change the band. Long press the button to select the next band. As the band is changed so that's why there is no video transmission. Long press this button on the left side and it will start the scanning. It's just that simple. Just long press the button on the receiver and it will do all the hard work for you. Each time you change the band or the channel you will have to repeat the scan process. Next we are going to power up this FPV camera using this 30 ampere ESC. It's just a regular 30 ampere ESC. I removed the yellow color shrink tubes and the motor wires. So I am only using this ESC to supply 5 volts to the camera. It's a simple trick if your flight controller doesn't give you 5 volts and 100 milliamps then you can use an ESC. I'll use this technique on my racing drone as my NACE 32 flight controller has no BEC battery eliminator circuit. 
just connect your 3S or 4S battery and the AC will take care of the voltage. Perfect, it's working. Short press the button to change the channels. If you want to select a different channel, then again repeat the same channels scanning process. Long press the button and wait for a few seconds. If you don't see anything, change the channel and repeat the scanning process. It has got multiple bands in channel, so you don't have to be worried. Now I'm going to use this 7805 voltage regulator to power up my mini FPV camera. As you know, 7805 voltage regulator gives a regulated 5 volts and can supply current up to 1 ampere. Connect 5 volts from the regulator with the red wire of the camera and connect the ground of the regulator with the black wire of the camera. So let's go ahead and connect the 12 volt adapter. Perfect. It's working. You can use this mini FPV camera in Arduino based projects. You can build yourself a low cost wireless security camera for your home, garage etc. So that's all about the OTG receiver and the wireless HD FPV camera. In my upcoming video I will fix this camera on my racing drone. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.